In order to make edits to the content on your layouts, you'll need to use a variety of tools that we've already seen now are stored in the tools panel on the left hand side of the interface. There are five tools that will give you most of what you'll need for day to day editing inside of InDesign. The first of which is at the top, and this is called the selection tool. You can reach it by tapping the V key on the keyboard or the escape key. That will allow you to do everything from selecting, rotating and scaling things inside of InDesign. The next one down then is the type tool. And this will allow you to either create new text frames or edit and format existing text. In the middle here, we have the shape tools and there is a rectangle visible at the moment, but any tool in the tools panel, and this goes for all the Adobe applications that has a triangle in the bottom right corner indicates there are tools that are very similar to the one that you can see. So if you click and hold down the left mouse button, you'll reveal those other tools. And in this case, not only do we have the rectangle tool, but we have an ellipse and a polygon tool as well. Hover over the tool that you need, click on it, and then it will activate that particular tool. So those allow you to create shapes. And then down towards the bottom, we have the hand tool and the zoom tool, which will allow you to navigate around your document, change the magnification and find the things that you need to edit. You'll also find that in the digital notes for InDesign on the website for this course, there is a whole rundown of every single tool in an exploded diagram that you can refer to as well.